Welcome back, everyone. Uh, today's chapter is chapter 13, and it's about choosing love. So let's begin by um, praying in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving God, teach us to love as you love. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. Teach me to love you as you love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, there's just a couple of Catholic faith words that uh, were included in your email, and they are the Beatitudes, that's with the capital B, Mercy, and New Commandment, capital N on the New, and capital C on the Commandment part. So, anyway, um, why should you love people that have been mean or have, have uh, done you harm? It's really hard to do, isn't it? But why should we do that? Does anybody know? Connor? Lewis? Anybody? It's because God wants us to. God tells us to do that because he does that for us. Okay, so let's start because um, there's probably a lot we need to learn about this. So, learning to forgive. The book of Genesis is the first book in the part of the Bible called the Old Testament. In it, we learn that God created human beings in his image and likeness. He gave us love and free will, which is the ability to choose. During your life, you will have to make some hard choices. The following scripture tells the story of a man who made a difficult choice after he was separated from his family. Joseph's story is found in the Old Testament. Jacob was the father of 12 sons, but Joseph was his favorite. Joseph's brothers were jealous of him. They sold him to a group of travelers who made Joseph a slave. Joseph became a slave in the faraway country of Egypt. He was given the important job of storing extra food because he was a hard worker and he could explain dreams. During this time, Joseph's family needed food because they were starving in their country. So they traveled all the way to Egypt. Joseph's brothers did not recognize him because so many years had passed. At first, Joseph did not tell them who he was. He was still angry with them. Hmm. Okay, so, um, yeah, you can understand why Joseph was still mad at his brothers. I mean, they threw him in, you know, they, he, they sold him into slavery. So let's see what happens next. But Joseph chose to forgive his brothers because he loved them. Long before the time of Jesus, Joseph showed how to love those who hurt you. Wow, so how do you think Joseph's brothers felt when Joseph told them who he was? They probably felt really bad, don't you think? I mean, they probably felt like the jerks that they were. What other choices do you think Joseph could have made? He could have pretended like he didn't know these bozos. Like, hey, you sold me into slavery. I'm done with you. Done with it. But he chose God's path. He chose God's way to forgive. Okay, so what does te Jesus teach about love? One day Jesus was walking with his followers talking with his followers about how to treat people. And this is what he told them. And this is based on the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 43 to 47, if you want to look it up in your Bibles. You've been told to love your friends and hate your enemies. But I am telling you, Jesus is telling his followers, love your enemies and pray for the people who hurt you. This will make you children of God. God doesn't want you to do only what is easy. If you are friendly only with people who are friendly to you, why is that special? Yeah, Jesus said that it's easier to love those who love you. He also said, love your enemies. Oh my gosh, that is so hard to do. And that can be difficult for people as it was for Joseph to forgive his brothers. So... That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to love everybody, even our enemies. Okay, Jesus' main teachings are about the love and care 
you are called to show God and others. In a teaching called the Beatitudes, Jesus said that those who make peace and show mercy are blessed by God. So I'm going to go over the uh, definition of Beatitudes. The Beatitudes are teachings of Jesus that show the way to true happiness and tell us how to live in God's kingdom for now and always. The new commandment sums up the Ten Commandments and the Beatitudes in one statement. So the new commandment is what Jesus is telling us to do, and that is love one another as he has loved us. Now, God is pure love, so that is a tall order, but we have to try every day, every hour of every day, we have to try to do it. People in our parish try to live by Jesus' new commandment, too. They are probably volunteers who build houses, people who teach people to read, or when you donate food to people who are hungry. And right now we've got a food drive going on um, for Thanksgiving baskets. So if you can, you should try and give some um, of the requested food items to uh, the parish right now so that um, people in our community can have a nice Thanksgiving dinner. So anyway, people that volunteer like that show their love by praying and helping others. They show love by putting others' needs before their own. And that's living the new commandment. And again, that new commandment is Jesus' rule for us to love one another as he loves us. So that is it. I know it's a short lesson, but it's such an important one and it's kind of hard to do. So, um... We are going to end with the prayer that I'm going to read. So in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God, our Father, help us to love as Jesus did. When someone is mean to us as Joseph brothers were to him, help us forgive as Joseph did. When we find it difficult to love, help us to love as Jesus did. When we pray together an act of love, Oh God, we love you above all things with our whole heart and soul because you are all good and worthy of all love. We love our neighbors as ourselves for love of you. We forgive all who have injured us and ask pardon of all whom we have injured. Let us pray that this comes true in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, boys and girls, your challenge is to go out this week and try to love your enemies. Try to love everybody the way God loves you. So good luck with that one. I can't wait to hear how it goes. Bye-bye.